Hey air signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what we all got going on in your work position. Your cards are wanting to fly out like crazy. What do our air signs have going on in the work position today? What are they getting accomplished? All right, the Queen of Swords taking charge. Um, for some of you, you could uh, be release. You could be a boss. You could be releasing um, somebody today. But for the majority of you, you are leaving a um, job that you're currently in. Um, wow, because you could be starting your own company, starting your own business, uh, needing a job that brings more fulfillment, more finances. Um, so you are cutting out of an old job and moving into a more independent role um, that's going to bring you in a lot more money, a lot more happiness, um, a job that you can actually feel nurtured by, um, actually loving what you do. All right, let's see what we got going on in your home life, air signs. This is beautiful. Though. Whoa. Hello, air signs. Hello. King and Queen of Cups. Um, for some of you, you could also be going back to school to get a better job, um, putting an investment in um, in your in your education, in your career uh, to get more money. For some of you, you're taking a test today to get certified, licensed, or something, and you've had a lot of stress about it. Relax, you're gonna do just fine. I do see that coming out very well for you. All right, wow. Okay, so watch the water signs. You could be dealing with them because not only in your home do you have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lovebirds, but um, they also had the Empress in their outcome. So let's see what we got here. Let me grab a clarifying deck. Okay. So for you air signs, what is this Nine of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles about? You're definitely making a... a excellent move for um for one making more money but just for your um mind body and soul you were in a position before where it was really cut and dry no real personal relationships just you were tired of that yeah i see a lot of you starting your own company but um you had a lot of uh conflict about this a lot of inner conflict for some of you, um, you could have gotten the job and there was a lot of competition. You got the interview, you got the offer. Um, so congratulations on that. Uh, for some of you, there was a, an argument at work that created uh, somebody leaving the job and now you feel um, you're in a position that is a lot happier, a lot warmer. Okay, the Six of Cups. Hello. My goodness, Air Signs. That can't get any better. I mean, this is absolutely the most beautiful vibrational couple, um, perfectly complementing each other in love. Love, love, love. And then you throw some kids and family in the mix. This is such a strong connection because um, it, it does have a, my goodness, it does have a soul tie to it. So you feel like you are just, and it doesn't necessarily, I'm not getting necessarily a past life relationship. I'm getting like this person understands you at a soul level. Like the love you have for this person is absolutely so deep. Um, there's the emperor. This person is so, gets you on a soul level. Um, for some of you, it is a, a soulmate. Now that I pull the emperor right next to the empress. But this is just like, a very happy family and now that you can you know enjoy your job more you can relax more it's gonna bring it's gonna affect the home as well why is the chariot here is the unexpected for some of you you have an Aries coming back who is a past life soulmate and you're already married um, you do have an Aries returning um, and gonna kind of shake up your world a little bit 
Um, let's see why. Let's see why the chariot is here. Why is the chariot here in the unexpected? The three of pentacles. Okay. So here's that third party energy for some of you married couples or, you know, uh, significantly coupled. You don't have to be married, but you know, not exclusively. There we go. If you're exclusive with this person, you're having someone come in and try to uh, shake things up. Let's see what this three of pentacles is all about. For some of you, you are um, going out on a limb with your spouse and starting a new company. And it's going to move very quickly and it's going to move towards victory. It's going to move towards a lot of financial success and freedom. There we go. Success and freedom. I asked what the three of pentacles was about. Um, for the majority of you, this is about you starting a new career. That's going to bring emotional fulfillment. And it's going to lead you to a very happy place a very um abundant place this is um like divinely guided you are being guided to uh you know walk away from the shot or whatever it is if you got fired you could think this is the worst day ever but yet then something else happens and it turns around a business owner could offer you a job and all of a sudden it's the best thing that ever happened to you um it, i feel like some sort of mishap or tragedy tragedy not like a death but like tragedy like you got fired or your company downsized or something with that five of swords you didn't get the job and you think it's you know it's very um de depleting and very you know you think it's you think it's the worst day ever and then here you are and somebody comes in and it changes everything and it brings you this emotional success for some of you, you are getting the hell out of there and you're finding your own success. Um, yeah, a lot of different uh, situations I'm seeing today for you air signs. Why is the hanged man in reverse? So you've been thinking a long time about something. Um, could be about leaving this job um, or you could be thinking about this uh, person that just entered back into your life. Why is the hanged man here in reverse? Yeah, you've been you've been thinking a long time, a long time about moving on, moving forward. But now you are, you've you've taken more than enough um, of a delay here. Uh, so I don't feel that this is something that just oh you know I'm leaving. Uh, I do feel it's it's been very thought out about how hard this has been on you um, in the career. Um, because I don't see you leaving this love connection. No way. I do see um, for some of you uh, who left a job to start your own business with the Empress and Emperor here. Um, you took a long time to think about it because you were worried about your finances. Why is the Empress here? But it is going to make you so happy and so successful. Um, so don't worry. Your prayers have been heard. They have been answered. You could be hearing from a fire sign about this. Um, this is a very immature energy. However, um, this could be this Aries. Uh, they're just emotionally more Im immature. For some of you, you're having a kid or getting pregnant. You've been trying really hard to have a child. And it's finally successful. It's finally bringing in this, this family that you have wanted. Um, be patient. Don't go too fast. Um, if you're starting your own business, if you're starting a new relationship, um, for some of you, you have been single. Uh, and in the time of, you know, you had just, I just got this, so I have to say it um, because I'm being guided to, but for some of you, you had gotten out of a marriage or a long-term commitment and you really just focused on you. You allowed um, the, the, you allow this healing um, to happen over time. You really invested in yourself. You really learn to love and nurture and support yourself, not depending on anyone else. Um, and you weren't even focusing on love. You didn't even want to deal with love. You didn't want to deal with passion. You um, shut all the competition down. You didn't want anybody offering you anything. You were just focusing on your career. Um, especially if you own your own company, you really threw yourself in to, 
to the job um, and you rose your vibration so much that you're that you're attracting all these new people including your divine partner including your perfect person your life partner um, soulmate for some uh, but most definitely this person is connected on a soul level to you now that you can come into a relationship providing all the things that you need happiness joy finances you know everything you're like the the whole package your wifey material now or husband material um, and it's now going to bring you in a partner um, this is a past life soulmate or a uh, divine partner for you huge um, this is gonna move forward very quickly it's gonna move very fast you have your finances in order um, you have been working with the divine and now you're ready for this ten of cups this is bringing you, this movement is bringing you in so much emotional fulfillment. You've been waiting a whole long time, air signs, but the wait is over. In that time of that wait, you took the time to heal, and you moved away from the hurt and the pain, healed those inner scars, and now you're coming out as the empress. Hello, and your perfect person is coming back. Your prayers are finally being answered. Um, you're hearing, you're getting a message from this person. You have really, really been patient waiting on this person's return. But your patience is paying off because in that time of wait, you went to the Empress status, ready for that twin, ready for that soulmate, ready for that life partner to come in. And it's coming in very quickly for you now that we're at this point. Wow, that was an awesome, awesome message. So if you want to see what is holding up this movement and the outcome, um, actions to take to bring this person in quicker, um, and anything else that we need to know, including a long-term outlook for your um, outcome, join me on the Vimeo side. If not, thank you so much for joining me here. I much appreciate each and every one of you. I send you all my light and love. God bless.